Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound iron 2 hydroxide. So let's work from left to right. The first element I see is iron. I'm going to scan the periodic table, and it looks like iron is right here on the periodic table, right? It's labeled as a Fe. So I'm going to write that iron is Fe. But now when I do my formulas, right, when I write a formula, I need a charge. But transition metals, right, any element that's in this block right here, they have multiple charges. They can have multiple charges. So what charge am I going to use? Oh, that's why they gave me the Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So in this case, there's a Roman numeral 2, which means that the iron is going to exist as a plus 2 charge. I know that it's positive because metals will always lose electrons. if They will become positive. They won't be negatives. The next thing I see is hydroxide. Now, this one's a little tricky, guys. I see that there's an IDE ending here, which chances are means that it's going to be a nonmetal. But if you search the periodic table for something that looks like hydroxium, you're not going to find it. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion, even though it has the IDE ending. Remember that hydroxide is always an OH, right? It's an OH with a negative one charge. So we're going to use that polyatomic. And now since we have both components, we do a little trick where we crisscross the charges to say what the subscripts are, the little numbers. So this plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I have two of the hydroxides. And then this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I only need one iron. When you do this little crisscross trick, don't worry about the charges anymore. They kind of like vanish. And you're just looking at the bottom numbers. So in this case, I'm ready to write my formula. I have iron. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write one. But now when it comes to multiple polyatomics, in this case I have two OHs. When you have multiple polyatomics, you need to put a parenthesis around the whole polyatomic. So in this case, I'm going to put parenthesis, parenthesis OH, close the parenthesis, and then say how many I have. In this case, I need two of them. And now I am done. So iron 2 hydroxide is FeOH2. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your classmates, tell your friends. They might need, you know, they might have uh, gain insight to using this channel. We also have physics and math videos at the time, at this time, right? So go check it out. All right. I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.